Hello everyone, this is Frank and we are currently in Corel Draw, which is the software I use to do my speed paint. I thought I would just uh, record this really quickly or for super long, I have no idea at the moment. But I've gotten a lot of questions asking which software it is. It is Corel Draw and uh, uh, it's not the latest version of Corel Draw by the way, it is Corel Draw 12. There's several versions out that are newer. But I prefer this version, it just fits my workflow a bit better. Much like I would say Photoshop, I hate the two newest versions of Photoshop and keep on... Uh, uh, my favorite version is CS2, I would say, because then they did some changes which, uh, well, quite frankly, pisses me off a lot. Uh, when it comes to Corel Draw, I wouldn't say that the new versions are bad, they certainly aren't. It's just some things that have been changed and... Uh, uh, I guess I like being uh, old school and maybe I used to have a bit hard time with change sometimes so yeah I uh, really do oh, such a thick one I really do liking this one so a lot of people have been a bit confused about the workflow it doesn't quite look like they used to maybe they've seen like uh, speed paints done in Photoshop and such like that and when I've been drawing and such they've been like hmm Hmm, hmm. This looks different. What is it? This is indeed different. This is not a pixel based graphic software. This is a vector based graphic software. What that means is that instead of pictures being built up by pixels, which are small squares, as I guess you are all aware, I'm sorry, it's built out of nodes, coordinates in relation to each other's. Ta da! So what you do is that you create specific objects like this and you can all clearly see the nodes I am guessing and then we create an eye like this uh -huh. and then we can take these objects, these two objects, we can copy them, we can delete them, uh, we can rotate them um, and uh, we can do loads more, we can mend them into one object, we can take one of these objects, we can move the nodes and change the lines. Now there are a lot of very positive things to to working with this kind of software instead of a pixel based software. Like one of the biggest things is that, well, if I draw, let's say, yeah, let's uh, let's actually just uh, let's actually just doodle a bit in the background um, as I'm talking. So that I do a picture, okay? Now. No matter how small I draw this picture on the screen, it will be able to be resized in an infinite manner. I could make this eye the size, size of the surface of the planet Earth and it would still be in the same resolution. It would never be pixelated, it would never be a bad resolution. Um, of course it would probably look pretty boring since these lines would be pretty huge, but still, you can resize it in an infinite way and it's no problem. And also, uh, the files don't weigh a lot, it doesn't take a lot of CPU to do. Like if you make a big picture for big print in Photoshop, it's going to be a huge one. Like just, just the size, uh, like you select 300 dpi and then maybe you need like 15,000 pixels in each, in each direction. And that uh, can kind of take a lot, to be sure it can. <laughs> But that is not an issue when working with these kinds of software. The files usually don't weigh a lot of all, unless of course you're working with Adobe Illustrator because for some reason those files seem to weigh a lot, I feel. The most popular software to use when you work with these kinds of uh, graphics are undoubtedly Adobe Illustrator, by the way. I prefer Corel Draw and uh, I think that's mainly because it's the software I started using in kindergarten like a billion times, a uh, billion years ago. It was when, uh, I think it was Corel Draw 3, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I am pretty sure I started using it in kindergarten, pretty sure. Uh, maybe I'll have to check the date on that to make sure I'm not lying and mixing things up here. But yeah, I would say that uh, that's about then. So yeah, it's it's what I'm used to and the BC tool, it just works the way I'm used to. It works slightly different in Adobe Illustrator, like how the bends work and everything. Because this uh, the tool I'm using now, that is not 
uh, the tool that I use the most. Um, this tool is very good for sketching, however. And as you can see in my speed paints, I have usually first done a sketch and uh, then I've uh, kind of cleaned up the lines on another layer. And uh, some people have been asking, like, will I ever actually record that process when I'm sketching, like, uh, like I'm doing right now? And uh, I have to say, I don't actually know. Because the sketching pro process, that is kind of the creative process for me. And, uh, well, I know that a lot of you guys who are watching this video will, will be playing Minecraft. And I know that a lot of you guys have probably tried to record it as well. Um, so I'm also pretty sure that a lot of you also know that trying to do creative things and coming up with new things while you are recording, it, that's actually pretty hard. Now, of course, my speed paints does not include, um, they do not include any kind of uh, commentary, of course. Um, because that working is an actor just of going to video you may be able to understand. I don't know how many actual real words I got into there, but you kind of get the point, I feel. Oh, maybe maybe we can do like a Japanese school uniform or, or something here. It kind of looks like I'm going in that direction, like do do like a bow, um, a ribbon here, kind of like <laughs> uh, get getting sidetracked. What what was I talking about? Oh yeah, creativity, recording at the same time. Even though I'm not doing that, I will still be aware that I am recording, and I am a bit afraid that that might limit me in my creativity. And um, because that is my creative process, um, that is where that is where I really make the whole concept. Like I usually have a, a bit of a vague idea uh, of uh, of what I want to do before I start drawing, but really most of it gets shaped during that process. And it's uh, it's such a nice phase. I always have so much fun uh, when I'm doing it. I and I enjoy it quite a lot. And uh, I, I'm just afraid that. Some of that would be ruined. However, I am not going to say never. I am not because that might be something that is uh, eventually changed. That might be something that I really start enjoying in the future, and it might just be a, m a matter of uh, becoming used to it. Like uh, I feel that this is working fairly well, but however, this is not a this is not a very creative picture for for, sh for sure. It's just it's just you know it's uh, just you know kind kind of a cute girl, kind of a cute girl. Um, Wow, um, maybe this is not a school uniform, come to think of it. Wow, her, wow, the shoulders are so high up. Probably need to change that. Also, if I do record it, um, I guess you all people will see when I kind of do wrong with the uh, <laughs> anatomy, such a, such a that. Oh my god, so embarrassing. No, it's not embarrassing, I'm just kidding. Now, however, this is a pretty different way of drawing uh, in comparison to like drawing with your hands or like uh, drawing with a tablet or something like that. Uh, this is actually not a kind of drawing that I would recommend like if you want to have a relaxed workflow because well it will in most cases look a bit more stiff than if you are used to using like pen and pencil to do some artwork. Um, but it's also like a matter of uh, what you what you like doing and actually uh, and this is quite fun uh, this kind of working with pictures can actually sometimes be easier uh, for some people that don't haven't really drawn before in their life uh, because they like they haven't got like the most sta uh, stable hands they uh, twitch around a lot and the lines just go everywhere when they're drawing and uh, using using vectors instead I mean yeah uh, lines are pretty nice, you know. It's uh, that's a problem you won't have. So for some people, it's actually really good. For people who are used to drawing by hamster, it is usually not very good at all. So that might be interesting for some, maybe. However, do not uh, get a vector-based software and expect to be super good at it straight away because, uh, well, naturally, it's not going to work um, quite work like that. Um, one thing you can do, like I guess, if you just want a simple portrait of yourself, uh, which is very, very common that uh, a lot of people do, is that they take a photograph of themselves and they kind of draw over the photograph, which I actually think is uh, entirely okay to do if it's just for your like personal use or something like that, because meh, who cares? Um, I do not have ever 
there are some people who cheat and kind of do that and claim that they do all the work of themselves and that is totally not okay whatsoever although I do feel that it's okay sometimes like if you need a reference or something but yeah but but don't do that don't do that because people will see it and people will be, will be pissed off it's extremely easy to do though so like if um, um, maybe like your mom or dad has birth birthday or something that could be a nice gift and they could be really happy because it's a nice thing to do so yeah now you see me entering the second stage of uh, creating a picture i've done some of the sketch and uh, now i'm uh, fixing up the lines here so they will be more clean in some cases uh, they are actually not very much cleaner than the sketch uh, which is uh, which is funny that's just the way it rolls sometimes sometimes i can actually feel that the sketch looked better than the actual lines which is uh, can be quite a quite a bit of a disappointment sometimes it really really can be but yeah that's just uh, it's just the way it rolls sometimes Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to mention something. A lot of people have been asking me, why do I use Windows XP um, or do I have Windows XP? I do not run Windows XP on this computer, I don't. I run Windows 7, but I have a theme which kind of makes it look similar to Windows XP. Um, it doesn't quite look like it, but the colors, sure, they are very similar to Windows XP. And there's two reasons um, why I do that. Now, the first reason is because I like the simple look of uh, Windows XP. It doesn't take the attention away from something else. There's no, there's no blue shadings anywhere. There's nothing that looks fancy. It's just this. It's just something uh, that I can use. It's simple. It's clean. And I really like simple and clean because, well... Let's just take a look at shit. <coughs> oh, okay, there wasn't anything there, I think. Uh, let's just take uh, a look at uh, my desktop here. As you can see, it's very clean and very well organized uh, because that's just the uh, that's just the kind of person I am. So, really having a messy theme like the typical Windows 7 theme, I, I don't think that's something I could handle. I would just go completely OCD on it uh, because I'm, uh, well, as you could see, like completely obsessed with cleanliness and organization. So this really is such a, such a important thing for me to do, really. So important. And uh, the second reason is because, well, as you guys know by now, if you watch my other videos, you know that, well, my laptop is not very good. It can't handle very much. So if you just remove all of those horrible animations and graphic settings, it will actually run smoother. It will run load smoother. So uh, if you also have a shitty PC, a shitty laptop, and you run like Windows 7, I do suggest that you do the same as me because it will help you out a lot. It really will. It's really good. <laughs> like I, there are so many things I would not be able to do at all on this computer if I hadn't done that and uh, done some other mean things to my poor little computer. Uh, which is actually working very well considering how old it is now and how cheap it was when I bought it. <laughs> ah, ah, gosh. Hmm. Is there anything more here? Hmm. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't think I've forgotten anything. But I just wanted to show this off for a bit because a lot of people have been asking what software do you use? Um, it looks a bit different from other speed paints, so... Um, people have been wondering about that, and uh, now you know why. It's a vector-based software, even though this tool I'm mainly using at the moment is uh, not typical of vector-based uh, graphics. But uh, yeah, yeah. So that is how it works. Hmm. Wonder if I should just finish this picture now because the coloring. Uh, when it comes to my pictures, by the way, the coloring is always the part that takes the longest. Doing the actual line art, uh, it's it's usually very very quick um, and I would say that coloring the images probably take like about double the time than doing the actual line art with the sketch included by the way so 
I hope that this answered any questions you may have had about that. I'm happy that you guys enjoy my speed paints. Looking quite forward to doing quite a lot of them. Um, it's always fun to show off, uh, to share what you've done, any kind of creative things really when it comes to everything. That's probably what we're doing the, be doing the most on this channel, I I would say. Because it's kind of, yeah, yeah, it's what I like. Yeah, it's what I like doing. So I really appreciate that you like those things. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, this video explained a few things. And uh, yeah, do try out some kind of vector-based software at some point. There, there are several ones uh, out there. There are even some uh, free ones, I believe, out on the internet. I don't know how good they are though, but yeah. And also if you ever want to go for animation, it's it's really, yeah, computer animation, it's really the way to go. So yeah, uh, this is Frank. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.